ever pondered the shape of our planet? Is it a flat disk hovering in space, or a round orb spinning on its axis? The answer lies in a tale that dates back over two millennia ago to the ancient city of Alexandria, where a scholar named Eratosthenes embarked on a mission to unravel this mystery. Eratosthenes, a man of many talents, a geographer, mathematician, astronomer, historian, and poet, was the chief librarian at the Library of Alexandria. His friends fondly nicknamed him Pentathlos, an athlete who competes in five different events, a testament to his varied skill set. But it was his calculation of the Earth's circumference that etched his name into the annals of history. In the year 240 BC, Eratosthenes used basic geometry and trigonometry to calculate the Earth's circumference. His method was simple yet ingenious. He knew that at local noon on the summer solstice in Syene, now modern Aswan, Egypt, the sun was directly overhead, casting no shadow from a vertical stick. Simultaneously in Alexandria, he measured the shadow cast by a similar stick and found it made an angle of about 7.2 degrees from the vertical. Realizing that this angle corresponded to the arc created by Alexandria and Sieni on the Earth's spherical surface, he hired surveyors to measure the distance between the two cities, which was approximately 800 kilometers. This distance and angle allowed him to calculate the total circumference of the Earth. If 7.2 degrees corresponded to 800 kilometers, then 360 degrees, the total degrees in a circle, would correspond to approximately 40,000 kilometers. Eratosthenes' calculation provided a measurement for Earth's circumference within 1% of the actual number, an extraordinary achievement for his time. This goes to show that even thousands of years ago, scholars had strong evidence for a spherical Earth. Yet beliefs about Earth's shape have been diverse throughout history from the flat earth descriptions of Babylonians and Egyptians to the revival of flat earth concept in modern times as a backlash against scientific progress these beliefs have been as varied as the cultures they originated from likewise the belief in a round earth has been shared by many ancient cultures from Pythagoras and Aristotle to ancient India and medieval Europe even by the time of Columbus in the late 1400s Europeans already knew that the Earth was round. Flat Earthers today have several arguments they believe support their theory, from perception of flatness to lack of observable curvature, and even the idea of Antarctica as an ice wall. Yet these arguments are easily debunked by scientific evidence such as seasons, sun angles night and day, the Coriolis effect, airplane flight paths and gravity to name a few. In summary, Eratosthenes' achievement was not just a mathematical feat, but a testament to the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. His calculation of the Earth's circumference, accurate to within 1% of the actual number, stands as a beacon of scientific progress, illuminating the path for future explorations of our planet and beyond. It underlines the fact that the Earth is indeed a sphere, a truth that continues to shape our understanding of the world, and our place in it.